All right, y'all, we about to get into this video. Uh, the yacht, yacht best friend, yacht ex best friend has came out and said some shit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leave? Now, for some reason, y'all have things misconstrued that if something is true, or if I feel as though it's true anyway, I would say I think it's true. Y'all understand that I am not gaining or losing anything from saying whether it's true or not. All right? Ain't no nobody's payroll but Google, and I forgot to tell y'all Twitch as well. Oh, and Shopify. But other than that, don't nobody pay me to do nothing but me and Google. All right, so let's watch this. Diamond has uh, the video of this girl going live. This is the alleged um, ex-best friend or whatever, the one who talked too much. So the other one say. And yeah, let's get into it. I want to give my... Hold on. Smash. I wasn't her that snitched dragging it but right so y'all to do feel like queen would not leave like hey do not that being said i feel guys like comment subscribe to the video man let's get it all right put it in my head i'm sorry i was invited to kai's party right kai Sinet. he had his birthday party like a few months ago so the first day it was like a two-day party the first day i went with my homegirl Boom. The next day she couldn't come. I went I invited my friend Brazi. Boom. So me and her was off the ecstasy, right? Mm. And we was at his yacht party. And it was only me and her. It was and then five, hmm. four yeah, of the girls it. on the yacht. <laughs> I mean there was more yachts, but on like the one that Kai and Clarence were on, it was just six of us okay and then he had like four other yachts with like 80 more people or some shit okay so we're all drinking having a good time whatever and this bitch we're all drinking having a good time whatever and this bitch i don't even want to say too much girl i, I, I hate when y'all do that Y'all are already saying too much. Child, everybody, let this shit out, please. <laughs> let it out. <laughs> I want to expose her because she's a bitch, but I really don't want to tell her. Sound like she's exposing the girl more so than she's exposing Claire. Tell y'all the whole truth. She don't like that girl. So I'm going to just tell y'all partially what y'all know already, okay? Because she exposed herself. Let me just say right now, she exposed herself, okay? I didn't, even, I didn't tell Chris nothing. Okay. I didn't even post it Appreciate out at the, the party. Stuff, right? Uh, I didn't say shit. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Uh. So. You know what? I don't want to say it. We are already here. <laughs> let me just say Claire, let me just say Clarence isn't the only only man she fucked that night the only nigga she fucked sorry bitch <laughs> oh shit hold on <laughs> let me just say Clarence isn't the only only man she fucked that night the only nigga she fucked sorry bitch <laughs> sorry bitch Fuck you, ho. And this is why I'm, <laughs> me and her aren't friends. Because I told somebody, I told my homegirl, like, yo, my friend on the yacht, like, what's really going on? Like, so that's why she don't fuck with me no more. Anyway. So, Sorry, we on the bitch. yacht. And she's I'm trying to, I want to know what happened. And I'm sitting there. And so she was Claire's already coming to sit by me, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like Y'all hear me? Uh-huh. 
look at him like <laughs> because because even the day before he was trying to have sex with even me. the day before what because because even the day before he was trying to have everybody was trying to have sex with her have sex with me and i'm like no like okay i ain't into that so that day clarence came and sit by me right to come and sit by me trying to chop it up i already felt mm. the vibes and the dude wanted to have sex mm. i was like mm, no so i was sitting there and brazi got done doing what she was doing and i told her come here she came here and i pushed her on his lap I didn't want to have sex with him. So instead of me saying, no, I don't want to have sex with him. I waited till the other girl was done getting dicked down by some other nigga. And I pushed her on to Clarence. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cause I was like, I ain't on that with him. Like <laughs> I'm not here to fuck. I'm here to have a good time. Like, okay. So I pushed her on his lap and she's twerking on him and shit. And everybody's watching. And so I think he's like, He's like tired of everybody watching. He just wants to go downstairs in the room. Uh -huh. So he's going to say, hey, y'all, let's go in the room. Shut up, Sydney. <laughs> oh, Lord. So she's like, Sydney. <laughs> What's Sydney say? How many niggas did she fuck? Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. So she's like, let's go down. He's like, let's go down in the room. Uh huh. He go down in the room and I look at her. He said, let's go down in the room and he go down to the room. He's like, let's go down in the room. He go down in the room and I look at her. And I'm like, I ain't finna go down there. You finna go down there? She's like, yeah. I said, oh. <laughs> Yo, this shit funny as hell. She is like, nigga, my friend was out there being a hoe. That's why I cut her ass off. Okay, so I, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but not really. What? So, um. <laughs> She goes down there, right? Uh -huh. And then Clarence starts screaming my name. Lena, Lena, Lena. And I'm like. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of believing her until she said Clarence was screaming her name, Lena, Lena. I was with you, friend. Let's go, let's go back again. Hold on. Like, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, but not really. Okay. So, um, she goes down there, right? Uh huh. And then Clarence starts screaming my name, Lena, 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 and I'm. I was with her. I was with her. Oh, I was with her. I'm not even gonna lie. I was with her on that. Cause she said he went down there and was screaming her name, Lena, Lena, Lena. <laughs> I call cap. First of all, if I already got a bitch I'm about to smash, you done told me you didn't want to do it anyway. You already said you didn't want to do it. So unless she's not saying that when she was there, if this is allegedly happened, she didn't say like, I don't want to do it. And then old girl said she was going downstairs, but she didn't say I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused. But okay. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, why are y'all screaming my name? Like, y'all could already see I'm not trying to go down there. If I was trying to go down there, I would have went down there. You should have just said you didn't want to go. So, then... Then his homeboy come upstairs. Who is the homeboy? She said Kai? And Clarence was on that boat, and it was six of them. Kai, Clarence... Her and uh, the friend. Who the other two? I, I want to know who the homeboy is. Yeah. So then his homeboy comes upstairs and is like, Lena, come here. And I'm like, for what? And they're like, come down. So then. So then the homeboy got to go up there to tell her to come too. But what? Uh. 
<laughs> Making that boy sound thirsty as hell. Look, look, this is this is the yacht door, right? They right here. So I'm walking in. Boom. Clarence over here. Dicking this hoe down like this. Hold on. Appreciate the cell friend. <laughs> he dicking this hoe down like this. And they're both staring at me. He's like, come here, come out. I said, uh-uh. Like, fuck no. I am not going down there with y'all. <laughs> so, so then, his friend look at me like, like, bro, what are you doing? I said, how are you going to invite me to this fucking yacht party and you trying to make me fuck him? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she was super duper duper, if this is true, embarrassed by that other friend, girl. She cut her friend off because she's a she was a little thotty on that on that yachty, okay? <laughs> she was a little thotty on that yachty, baby. Like, what is wrong with you? You invited me here. Like, One, two, three, four in the chat. <laughs> like, what is that? So I walk back. Bazzi literally just texted you my Instagram and said she thought I snitched. Yeah, she still thinks you do to this day. But I didn't, I didn't even tell you that. What the fuck? So who told you? Somebody else. I mean, people talk. Like, people come to me about shit. Me searching for a snitch. Yeah, so um, I had to get that on camera this morning because... Ain't nobody finna sit here and say that I snitched on Clarence because I don't snitch. But <laughs> now that everybody knows that I was a bitch who brought her there. She wasn't doing it to snitch on Clarence. She was doing it to snitch on Shawty. <laughs> this what happened. But the funny thing is, Queen already knew that. And like, he didn't like. Huh? The bitch who brought her there. This what happened. But the funny thing is, Queen already knew that. And huh? Like, How? Huh? That I was a bitch who brought her there. This what happened. But the funny thing is, Queen already knew that. And, like, he didn't, like, Chris didn't have to go online and say none of this shit. He kind of just OD dragged it, but. <clears throat> All right. Let me just, let me just say this. Her story sound halfway believable to me and halfway non-believable to me. All right. The after she got done getting dick down, she came over there to me. Clarence was right there. So I pushed her on the Clarence. Very much reminds me of when we was at a party when we was young and you in front of a nigga twerking that ass five feet in front of him and his friend is behind him and he ain't get up on you yet. So his friend pushed you up on him. Just gives very much middle school prom, middle school dance. All right, that's number one. Number two, it was four yachts, which I wasn't aware of, because I'm trying to figure out why the fuck would Clarence get on a yacht full of people and do some shit like this, which would be sloppy. I didn't know it was four yachts, so it could have been a possibility that he was on a yacht with less folks, okay? That's number two. Number three, for her to say he was screaming, Lena, Lena, I call Cap. I feel like the nigga already up in some pussy. What do I have to scream your name for, honey? What do we? <laughs> Granted, he could have been drunk and just on some wild shit. Who knows? I just think that that part was capped. If in the event this was true. Number four. If all of this is true, Queen knew. Sound like Queen gave him a pass. The only reason why I say that, because y'all said Queen knew. And let me rewind that, because y'all like to hear what y'all want. Brought her there. This will happen. Let me let her repeat that. But the funny thing is, Queen already knew that, and like he didn't like Chris didn't have. All right, so Devil's Advocate, which I love to play with y'all. Before they left Queen, before he left Queen, probably told that nigga, "Listen, you gonna get a pass because I already know it's gonna be plenty of holes on that boat, and you gonna want to get your dick wet. So go ahead, but nigga, don't embarrass me." And don't get caught. Now, I want y'all to know, some people in their household, they kind of got these rules. And I know y'all may not believe it because that's not the lifestyle that y'all live. But unfortunately, 
Some people got that rule. Now, Chris bitch ass move was I'm a snitch on the whole operation because he got caught cheating. Chris got caught cheating. Clarence did not get caught cheating. Chris fucking he snitched on the nigga. If this were to be true. Here's my thing. I keep telling y'all, I'm going to tell y'all again, even if it were Chris. I wasn't there. I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know. But from old girl story, for her to come out and say, how the fuck you know? If this is true, bitch, you did snitch on yourself, period. Now, whoever else told uh, Chris is another part that I'm confused on because if it was six people on that yacht, allegedly, which one told Chris? You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't these two, which was the ones who was near the act, right? And these two, she, sis didn't say that she had another a girly friend there. It was obviously them two girls. Now, she also is confusing me when she said um, everybody was watching. Who the fuck is everybody? If it's only six people on there, that ain't too much of a everybody. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand that either. Okay. Um, so I, I have several questions. Who the fuck told Chris, if this is true, um, number one, number two, I just, I, it's not given the man was thirsty to call her name. Lena, Lena. I just, I can, I am not going for the screaming to Lena. All right. Number two. And number three, how the fuck she know queen knew. Now, prior to all this shit, she said that yesterday, which was the day before the yacht day, everybody was trying to fuck her, right? So that would mean Clarence could have uh, uh, allegedly made a pass. Kai could have made a pass. Duche could have made a pass. Whoever was there, right? Now, for her to say that Queen knew, I absolutely don't understand that part. Because where are my text messages? Where are the DMs? How did Queen know? That is, that is after the fact. Queen already knew. How you know? How does she know Queen knew? Now, my thing is, if Queen did get a nigga pass, he told everybody, listen, you know, because the, the other girl was right when she said, you got to be in them rooms to know what happens. I believe that. Nasty ass rich niggas, nasty ass bitches who want to be with a rich nigga. Shit happens, right? So with that being said, Clarence could have initially spoke to these girls and said, listen, especially if, if the, they, didn't, they couldn't have their phones. Hey, Queen said I could get some pussy. All right, so one of you bitches is going to be lucky and going to be able to get this dick. I'm just saying. It's a possibility for that to happen. Because how the fuck would she know that Queen knows? And if she was so uninterested in Clarence, that don't mean, I doubt she's talking to him today. Not only is she not talking to him, the other girl not. So how the fuck they know Queen know? I got questions. You know what I'm saying? When I say lucky, it was a joke. Oh, that's Kia. Kia knew I was joking. Okay. I doubt Queen knew anything. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This is this is just devil's advocate. I'm sorry. I got to use the bathroom because I drank this tea. Give me two seconds. Well, maybe three. All right, y'all. So, yeah, um, my bad. I had to go to the bathroom, drink detox tea. But listen, so this is this is how I feel um, about the situation. Either Queen gave, a, Queen gave him the green light if in the event this is true. Qu Queen gave him the green light. Um, this is just a scenario that, that could have happened. And the only reason why I say that, because old girl said that queen already knew. Now, I am confused on how the fuck queen would know if um, she ain't spoke to him after the fact. They not fucking friends. Like, she, she barely wanted to talk to him at the party. Well, it was <laughs> evident that she did not want to have sex with him, which is completely understandable. But 
how you know Queen knew, you know? And then um, him begging her to come, Cap, uh, and just the possibility of them having sex, y'all, is possible. I never said that it wasn't. My thing is, I still ain't seen a text message. I still ain't seen a DM and I still ain't seen a video of him fucking no girl. If you ask me, and I'm going to say this again, <laughs> would I uproot my household for this? No, I need proof, man. I need proof. This ain't enough. Sorry. Ain't enough. <laughs> and y'all hate that. It ain't enough, honey. It's not. It's not enough for me. <laughs> I need proof. Baby, we just bought a house. Girl. Who? I need proof. So, that's just my honest God truth. I be damned. I Nigga, what happened? First of all, I would add, what the fuck happened? And or, like I said, she gave the nigga the go. Some of y'all wouldn't give y'all niggas the go, but some of these women will. Especially when they know they gonna cheat or when they know they gonna... I always tell y'all, if I was fucking with a nigga, he would hate me. Because I, if, he, if my nigga would tell me, I'm about to go to Kai's party by myself. I would have already gave him the green light to get some pussy. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. But you know what I would have been doing? Getting me some dick somewhere. I'm going to take me a girl's trip, just like you're going to take you a boy's trip. I would have already knew. it's A, hey, it's already a possibility he going to get some ass. Them niggas be around the women who can't wait to put a dick in their mouth. I just can't wait. So it is what it is. Tag your it. Hello. Baby, listen, I'm about to go on a guy's trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kai having a party. You know what I'm saying? It's his birthday. He going to have yachts and shit. Oh, for real? Okay, bet. He going to be like, uh, so you going to stay at the house? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm going to be outside too. <laughs> Even when Chris cheated, I was like, y'all, this nigga young, got all this money. It's going to happen. So I don't know if y'all wanted me to be like, oh my God, he's so fucked up. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not. Chris, you know what pissed me off with Chris the most? He was so sloppy with it. He was doing it on purpose in front of a camera. Y'all got to understand. And I keep telling y'all this. These niggas is young and they rich. Somebody going to cheat. I always tell y'all that. <laughs> like, always. And with Chris, what made his so bad was he was deliberately doing it on camera. Intentionally. Literally. It's like he, hey, queen, come see these girls dance on me. Hey, queen. Come see me walk to the room with these bitches. Like, he was so disrespectful with it, you know? And that was tearing Queen ass to pieces. But, um, I don't know. I still, I still don't think this is enough proof. I'm going to say he could have did this shit. The story sounding a little better. He could have did this shit. But without me seeing it, I can't say he did it. It wouldn't hold up in court. I'll tell you that damn shit. The judge would be like, well, where's the proof? Where's the fucking proof? It ain't none. So I'm going to say this one more time. Queen could have gave him the green light. A. B. He could have fucking did that shit and went and home and told Queen. Because why would old girl know? Why would old girl know? That Queen knew. I don't get that. That's, I, I'm still on the fence with that. And C, um, he done got caught up. Caught up. <laughs> okay. So that's just it for me. 
Uh, once again, if I were queen, would I uproot my household for this? Nope. Nope. Y'all got to understand, I'm in a relationship too. We have gone through some things, baby. All right? And we have had some real nigga conversations. Some shit that y'all wouldn't be able to handle. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be breaking up for this. And once again, this is what people want. They want, they want them to break up, y'all. It's not fucking happening. I'm, we ain't probably like, shit, all right, well, nigga don't do it again. She, she dealt with Chris cheating for so long. Only reason why she, I feel like she really left is because he was on camera with it. The nigga was just being so disrespectful. Not only that, he was putting his hands on her, da-da-da. So she stayed with Chris when he was cheating. She going to stay with Clarence, too. So what it is that y'all want, you, you still not going to get it. <laughs> so... It is what it is. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's all I got, baby. I'll probably do a video on y'all comment. So keep it cute. Keep it respectful. I can speak back to you. Keep it respectful. All right. And I am done here. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Good. Get the fuck off my phone. <laughs>